from the home of hoppiness. From the Alpine Beer Company in San Diego, USA, we have a can of their Nelson IPA coming in at 7% ABV. Now, first things first, I'd like to thank Kenton, you might know him as KCJ Bomber on the channel, for sending me this beer. Um, Kenton's from San Diego, he's very, very passionate about his local beers, and yeah, he sent me a load of beers. Um, I just don't know what to say, Kenton. Um, the beers you're sending me are absolutely fantastic. Um, and he's sending me these beers because he wants to put the USA on the map for beers, because he actually reckons the USA is, 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 is producing some of the best beers in the world at the moment. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to reviewing more. Everything I've reviewed so far for Kenton has been absolutely fantastic. So a little bit of story about the Alpine Beer Company. Um, they're nestled in the foothills and the mountains just outside San Diego, and they've been going since 1999. And I reckon it's them foothills and and mountains that you see. I mean, Kenton's on my live stream like it was last night. And you see their mountains and foothills in the background. Um, they're the mountains and the foothills that this brewery's in. <laughs> it's just teasing us, I think, old oh, Kenton. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Kenton, top fella. Um, thank you, thank you so much. I don't know, uh, you know, to to send me these beers. Beers that I probably would never have discovered in the UK. Um, uh, Lost for words. <laughs> Lost for words. So, without further ado, let's let's crack this beer open. Let's crack it open. Let's get it in a glass and let's give it a review. Um. Look at this pouring. Oh, we're gonna get it all in, all in, all in. Oh, just so it doesn't overspill. So, first impressions. It's a gorgeous, hazy, hazy, golden yellow with a lovely two and a half finger white loose frothy foam head oh, looks gorgeous that eh? looks gorgeous so let's get the aromas Tropical fruits, umbongo, that, that juice drink I used to take to school back in the back in the seventies and eighties with my packed lunch. Umbongo, who remembers that? Umbongo, umbongo, we drink it in the Congo. The, the, the fruit fruit juice drinks. Well, this is this is tropical fruit. Um, this is only has one hop in it. It's the Nelson Savon hop from New Zealand. Um, that's why it's called the Nelson. So it's a one hop. IPA. It's piney and tropical fruits is what I'm getting off the off the nose of this beer. Smells absolutely divine. So without further ado, let's dive in and give it a try. So uh, cheers to Kenton or KCJ Bomber. Oh my word.
Now, I can see why, because Kenton, we sent a few messages towards one another. I can see why Kenton, this is your like your favorite beer out of the Nelson Brewery, I can see that. And I understand it as well. This is like, It has a sort of New England IPA vibe to it, to be honest. It's smooth, it's creamy, it's fruity. And the hops really, really linger. There's no real bitterness there. It's smooth, it's creamy. It, oh, they call it an IPA on the can. An India pile out. It lends itself more to a New England IPA. Especially with this haziness to it and the creaminess on the mouthfeel. So, my only criticism, um, the Alpine Beer Company, is maybe you should you should you should call it a Nipa as opposed to an IPA because maybe because because I'm English. Maybe because I'm English, my interpretation of an IPA is it shouldn't be as cloudy as this, if you know what I mean. And those that know their IPAs, an IPA shouldn't be as cloudy as this. It should be clear. Um, it can be the same ABV. You know, I thought, you know, you do it a proper, proper old school English IPA, without question of doubt. Very, very good. Calling this an IPA. I think you're doing yourselves an injustice. You should be calling it a New England IPA. Because it's it's got that cloudiness and it's got that creaminess on the mouthfeel. It's piney. First thing you get is the pininess, then you get the, the, the tropical fruits. It's so, so smooth, this beer. Again, it's another beer that's 7% and drinks like it's under 4%. It's so drinkable, so smashable. I could quite easily drink seven, eight cans of this, no problem. Um, it's that drinkable. Very little, little carbonation, even though I'm burping from previous beers. I've got the hiccups from previous beers. There's a real creaminess to this beer. It's piney, it's tropical, it's it's creamy it's smashable um out of the two and kenton told me to review this one second so we've had the duet and now we've had the, the, the nelson and kenton specifically said to me um review the duet first then the nelson well well, Kenton, I'm actually going to say this to you. I might upset the apple cart here. I actually prefer the duet to the Nelson. And the reason being is there's too many of these Nipers coming out New England IPAs. Um, whereas the duet, it's a great, solid IPA. And maybe that's a bit of me being English and wanting to discover great IPAs. 
Um, and maybe with yourself, Kent and being from a, from the USA, and you like your New England IPAs, it's it's a great beer. Don't get me wrong. This is a, an awesome beer. And I could drink lots of it. And I'd like to drink lots of it. Um, I can't fault it, but, you know, having like, when Kenton really messaged me and he said like, try the duet first, then try the Nelson because Nelson's my favorite. Well, Kenton, I'm a reverse, I'm a reverse actually, mate. Um, I prefer the duet to the, um, to the Nelson. But there you go, each to their own. Um, both great beers both both great beers so you know the way i'm going to sum it up is if you like your new england ipas this is a cracking new england ipa um it's not an ipa this is nowhere near an ipa i'm really really sorry um you can't really call this an ipa it's a new england ipa because of the cloudiness and the creaminess of it whereas the duet yeah it's a great ipa you can call that an ipa um it's not bitter enough to be called a West Coast IPA. It's um, it sits out there with sort of Jaipur and uh, life and death um, as an English sort of IPA. But this is definitely it sits there with love and hate um, by vocation. This is a, this is a New England IPA. It's got the it's got the ABV and it's got the creaminess and it's got the tropical fruits and it's got the pineiness. So. Yeah, great New England IPA. See if you source yourself a, a can or bottle, because I've done it in bottles as well. See if you source yourself one. Try it, see what you think, leave me a comment below. And before we go, uh, before we go, thank you Kenton for uh, sending me these beers in. So let's start again. Um, basically, Leave me a comment below. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell. Get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer. But I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. Wow. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. Wow.